What is the cause of the misunderstanding between you and the patient in Ward B? You came to report me to you, sir. Yes. He told me that you told the wife that some strange woman had been bringing food to him here in the hospital. That wasn't exactly what happened, sir. How can he lie to you against me? So, what is the truth? Because he said that you told the wife that some woman had been coming here to see him for some days now since he was admitted. I told the lady in question was her younger sister. And I told her about it. I never knew it was his mistress. Why did you tell her at all that some woman was coming here to see him in the first place? I... I got talking... I got talking with his wife and... I told her her and her younger sister look alike and she said she had no younger sister and needed to know who I was talking about. And I told her the lady that brings food for her husband and told her to come much later in the evening. That, that's when she... Why did you tell her that? I, I was only... Okay. The truth is I suspected the husband was cheating on his wife and that wasn't right. So I told his wife about it. I did the right thing, sir. You were not employed here to snitch on patients. If you were concentrating on your job, you would not have time for gossip. But doctor, you need to see the lady this man is cheating on with his wife. Very ugly. I don't know what the man saw in that lady. So men are very useful. Will you shut up? Get out of my office. Yes, sir. Ah, huh. Abigail, quite some time. The last time I was there, they told me you were on leave. Yes, <laughs> I just resumed. How's your husband? He's fine. And uh, please, uh, who attend to me? I have a very important place to go to. Okay, um, come this way. Bye. Ah. Yeah. Is that not the same Mrs. Abiodo? Yes, she is. Same one that got married last year. Yes. Is she sick or something? No, she's not sick. Oh. She's becoming fat netter for like a week now. Mm -hmm. Why is she dressed like that? She's even looking very beautiful today. If you see what she wore the last time she came, you think she's one seventy-year-old woman? She's looking so unkept. I know how she used to look now. I know. What is it now? That was before she got pregnant. You can't compare her then and now. Uh, so pregnancy is now a disease that will make you dress like a mad woman. It's her first time now. I think she's finding it difficult to adjust. Uh, apparently she doesn't know looking good has so much to blame keeping a man in marriage. Forget that thing, my dear. Whether you're looking good or not, some men are born to be unfaithful. Well, you play your little part as a woman and keep your man faithful. <laughs> no, 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 no. I have to advise Mrs. Abiodun. Before it's too late. No, it is not your business. Just face your work. You're not a family or something. What's your own? I am advising her as a friend. Abigail, I still insist you have no right to advise her. She is not your friend. You are a nurse. So be a nurse and mind your business. Okay. Good. So back to work, sir. Your pregnancy is developing normally. Just remember the exercise, diet, and rest I told you about. And please, do not take any drug without consulting us first. So as not to take any drug that will harm your unborn child. And please, ensure that you take the vitamins and iron pills that was given to you in the right dosage. It will help you a lot. And most importantly, stay away from alcohol. Totally away? Yes. Huh. Aside the damage that it will cause the child, it's really not good for the health. Alcohol triggers the heartburn you complained about. Okay. So you see, you'll be doing yourself a lot of good if you stay away from it. Mm -hmm. hmm? Thank you, nurse. <laughs> You're welcome. Let's take it easy, okay? No, 
could not see that man with your sentana. Eh, Mrs. Savio, do I be done with Tibia? Yes, we saw her. And what is wrong with her? Could not say she take dress like a old woman. Eh, I've been not recognized and wear well until I near her. Eh, and the last time we see her here, now so she take dress like a beggar. I've been, I've been to say maybe not mistake, but now today I not say not be mistake. Now, since you and I just finished discussing that issue. I pity that woman. If she knows what it takes to keep a husband these days, she will keep the one she has with everything she has. I know be so see they take dress up. If me self wear nice, I be fashion. I not feel dressed like that. I be nobody the advisor. I don't think so. I volunteered to talk to her about it, but no city said I shouldn't. Ah, no city why now? You know be good person. If you say you be good person, if person way do something way not good, you go call the person talk to her. Listen, Miliki. By now you should know I'm not a troublemaker. And I don't want trouble. It's not everyone that welcomes and appreciates advice that they didn't ask for. No one of us is in any position to go and advise our man, so mind your business. Well, no, Sabi, not mind your sister, Gary. Make your advice to me. Of course. Don't try it, oh. I've warned you, don't. Ah. Why you go say mess in her Now your mouth is when you talk. Biliki, why are you even pushing her to go talk to the woman? Why can't you go and advise her if you know it's something that is right? Eh, me, I know if you follow the woman and talk. Why? Because it's not be my ministry. Now, now, Sabi, again, I ain't get the ministry. And what ministry is that? I beg, I won't go wash toilet. Okay, go wash toilet. <laughs> What's funny? I'm <laughs> Ministry of Busy Body, yo! This guy's a It's Clinic Matters! Clinic Matters! Keep watching! Sorry, Mrs. Abiyo. Don't forget all I told you. I will yeah. not. <laughs> Hi, that's it. Hello. I'm leaving. Oh, okay. Bye. Take care of yourself. I have eh? a very good uh, place to go to. All right. All right. Bye. 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 Bye
I think I know what to do. I have to see the doctor. Ah, Miss Abiyogi, if you touch me, I will slap you. No, I'm just joking. I'm just joking. I'm just please, Miss Abiyogi, please, Miss Abiyogi. Man, I will slap you for me. I will slap. Don't touch me. So don't touch me. Please, I want to see the doctor right now. Uh, madam, hope there's no problem. You just left here not too long ago, but the doctor is even very busy with some patients now. I, you look very angry. Yes, I'm angry. I'm angry. I don't know why nurse Abigail chose to insult me today. What's her business with what I wear and what I don't wear? Was she employed her to monitor patients dressing all their health? Uh, eh? Mrs. Abiodun, please. Take it easy, eh? I'm mm. very sorry. Mm. Mr. Abigail, mm. what is your own with her mode of dressing? I don't know. No, sorry, sir. You can't tell me you can't see anything wrong in what this woman is wearing. Even my grandmother won't dress like and this. And how is it your business? Mm. Didn't I want you not to practice your ministry on her? Can't you see her keep your mouth shut? Okay. Just pretend I never said anything to you. But no one your husband says having extramarital affair, it's your fault. And don't say I didn't warn you. Did you hear her? Uh, I want to see the doctor! Uh, madam, calm down. I told you earlier that the doctor was very busy. Now he's very free and you can go in there and see him. Report her to the doctor. Oh. Titi. Thank you. Madam. You're welcome. But it's me, madam. Talk see. Who was that for? It seems she doesn't listen to anyone except the doctor. Let her report her to the doctor so she can be cautioned. You're taking this too far. No, she needs to learn. Every time she talks, blah, 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 blah. I've never been so insulted in my entire life. She called me a stark illiterate and a village girl. I don't know what her business is on how I chose to dress. Nurse Abigail. Sir. How many times have I told you to concentrate on the reason why you were employed here? And stop offering advice to, to people about their relationships or marriage? Sir. I was only trying to help her keep her husband. And I asked if I could talk to her as a friend. She said yes. Madam, please, I'm very sorry for whatever happened, okay? I promise it will never repeat itself. Doctor, warn her. She never in her life talked to me the way she did today. Else, I would go register my internet somewhere else. <laughs> there will be no need for that. Like I told you, it will never repeat itself, okay? No, sorry, girl. I apologize to her. I'm sorry. But I was just trying to... Shut up! Nobody's interested in knowing what you were trying to tell her. Madam, I'm very sorry. Okay, thank you. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm. Nurse Abigail. Sir. Can you tell me in one sentence what exactly is your problem? Doctor, there's an alarming increase in the rate at which married men have extramarital affairs these days. And sometimes... It's been caused by the negligence of the wife. I was only trying to help her protect her marriage. It is not your business. Keep your advice to those who need them. And before you give it, let it be sought. Yes, sir. As from today, I will mind my business. I just thought as a hospital, we should not only be concerned about our patients' health, but also their general well-being. When next any patient reports you to me, you will be in serious trouble. Yes, sir. It's Clinic Matters. Clinic Matters. Keep watching. Ah, can you imagine what there is that? I swear I will not beg for her if the doctor sacks her. Mm -hmm. I won't. No, 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 Stacey. That will make you a bad friend. We all know your Abigail is a case. But that does not stop the fact that she's still our friend. Ah, her proko is too much. I never see person where you do her proko this for this life. Her proko now our ministry. Why are you quiet? I know you've been gossiping about me, so go on, continue. Continue. Doctor, don't sack you. That is your prayer, but it's not be answered in Jesus' name. Seriously, Nurse Abigail, I think you should learn to stop rendering help to people when they did not ask for it. It makes you appear like, like, um, like a busybody. That's what she is. Um, no, that's not what I'm looking for. It makes you appear like. Ah, a proko. Mm -hmm. uh, no, not, not that either. It makes you appear like. Uh, oh, God, I can't seem to get the right word for it. But I think I will go with Nurse Titi and Billy King. It makes you appear like a busybody apropos. Good. So please, stop giving advice to people when they did not ask for it. Okay? 
I've even made up my mind not to help anyone again. No matter what I hear or see. So, I would keep my mouth shut and not talk again. Amen! Amen. The next thing you see the fits of cast of the communa. Mm. After the next thing, one chick she was on heels, everything she was looking so fine. She was just walking. The next thing, one guy from nowhere just showed. Oh, baby, shake it, don't baby, shake it, don't break it. From nowhere, hey, from nowhere, and he came with so much confidence. Like, hi, hi, hi. hi you hi. look so good. Thing. Just said to be a sexy pregnant woman. Mm -hmm. wow. wow, that's good. <laughs> I hope no man wooed you when you're coming here. Plenty of them did do. I just didn't listen. Ha. Mm -hmm. Nurse Abigail, did you respond to my greetings? I did. She just didn't hear me. Ah, I understand. You see, angry me over the misunderstanding we had the last time I was here, we. I'm so sorry I reported you to the doctor. Do you know that I got home and thought about what you said? And I realized it was just the truth. Well, you were too extreme about it. That's why I felt insulted. But it was all good. Thanks. Thank God you took my advice. I'm sorry if I sounded too extreme, but I was just trying to talk to you as a friend. I understand. I appreciate your concern. Thank you very much. Thank you. Madam, it is God you should thank for sending me to you. I mean, the rate at which married men cheat on their wife these days, it's not funny. And as a married woman, you should try all you can to keep your husband to yourself. Single ladies are not smiling, no. And you know, there is nothing desperation. Eh! Hey, Just have it enough. Enough! Please, let's hear what. Don't start this your pessimistic mm -hmm. white theories here. Uh-uh. She has apologized and you've apologized. Let the matter rest. Uh -huh. Madam, please call me for your check up. All right. I'll see you. All later. right then, no problems. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Mm, she looks so nice. No, <laughs> Did you just see the way your city insulted me in front of a patient? You two, you talk too much. You should learn to keep your mouth shut. It's not every time you give people advice, especially when they didn't ask for it. So, is that all you're going to say? What do you want me to say? I should clap for you. Because I'm doing this. Ah. Yeah. Oh. Oh. 